welcome if you're new here we're starting today's video in the kitchen because i'm doing another what i eat in a day you guys seem to really like the one that i did last week or i think two weeks ago so i figured why not film another one so this is going to be a video a day full of intuitive eating if you guys like watching these kinds of videos like i do i hope you get some meal inspiration from this you guys will see like i really love cooking different meals and all that stuff i didn't mention this in my first video but i just want to put a little quick disclaimer in this one because like i said i forgot to do it in my other one when i was going through fixing my relationship with food i would watch these videos a lot and kind of make myself upset in a way because i wasn't eating like the other girls and i would tell myself like oh my god i'm doing it the wrong way i'm never gonna lose weight or like whatever and that's a really bad mindset to watch these videos in so i would just say take this video as a meal inspiration just because i eat certain things doesn't mean that you need to eat exactly what i'm eating everyone's body is different meaning that we need different things so please don't feel that way watching this video i just want to share with you guys why i eat in a day so like i said i just made my coffee this morning well you guys saw i made my coffee this morning i put almond milk and a hazelnut creamer it's really early so i'm gonna wait a little bit until i eat breakfast and then i'll see you guys then hey guys so it's a lot later right now it's around 9 30 ish i don't know if i said this earlier in the video but i literally drank coffee at like 7 a.m i had a doctor's appointment this morning but i ended up canceling it so that's why i was up earlier than usual so i'm eating breakfast kind of early right now i'm not that hungry so i'm gonna snack on an apple and this banana as you guys can see they're going bad so i'm just trying to eat them up and then I'm also going to have some peanut butter. You guys know I like the honey one from Skippy, but it's almost finished. So I'm just going to mix it with this one. I have class at 1040 and I don't know if this is going to hold me over. If anything, I'll have like another little snack after class or probably have an early lunch. But I'm just going to snack on this. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to make some fun things for lunch and dinner. We went to Trader Joe's yesterday and we got so much food. <laughs> like literally like $200 worth of food. But... I'm obsessed with Trader Joe's and they have the best food so I'm really excited to show you guys what I make so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys when it's time for lunch So I'm just gonna add some cinnamon, oops that was a lot, on the banana but this tastes so good. You guys have to add cinnamon, it makes such a difference. Usually I like to drizzle honey on it also and put like cacao nibs or chocolate chips as like a little dessert at nighttime. So good, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys a little bit later. So it's about 12 o'clock now. I finished class about an hour ago. I thought I was going to be hungry once class finished, but I actually am not. The banana and the apple really helped me over. I'm not going to eat lunch yet, even though it's lunchtime because I'm just not hungry yet, like I said. But I just wanted to pop in here and tell you guys that I'm probably not going to show you every time I drink water because that's just going to become repetitive. If you guys watch my last What I Eat in a Day, I showed this water bottle. I usually drink like four of these a day. I think this one is like, yeah, this one is 17 and a half ounces, but I have a huge black water bottle that's two liters. So I'll drink like maybe like four liters a day. So I'll fill that one up twice. But for now, I'm just using this one. I already drank like two of them. I'm on my second one. But I just want to tell you guys that I'm not going to show you guys when I can drink water, like I said, because I'm going to be showing you like literally like every 10 minutes. I love water. Honestly, like people say, it makes such a difference in your skin. And I believe that. And it just makes me feel so much better on the days that I don't drink a lot of water like I can actually feel the difference so I don't really drink juice or anything honestly the only thing that I drink besides water is coffee which is pretty bad but I'm addicted so I can't really do anything about that but yeah um, I'm gonna make lunch in about 40 minutes or so and I'll see you guys then but I might be going out later to dinner well not out to dinner but I might be picking up food later I know I said I was gonna like cook for you guys but I think I'm gonna shake shack with my boyfriend so that's gonna be pretty good. I don't know, we might get Shake Shack or something else. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Maybe I'll even stay home, who knows, but I'll see you guys later when I make lunch. Hey guys, a change of plans. So it's around one o'clock and my boyfriend and I decided to actually go out to lunch rather than wait for dinner because I'm just so hungry and I'm really craving some Shake Shack. Honestly, I don't know if I'm even gonna get that because there's a Chipotle in the same courtyard and I kind of want that too. Sorry, you can hear my dog barking in the background. But anyways, we're gonna go out, eat that. I'll show you guys my order like regardless of where we go. And I just want to point something out really quickly. If you guys want to eat healthy and change like the lifestyle that you have regarding food, 
I would really suggest just intuitively eating when it comes to like your cravings and stuff like that. When I was like fixing my relationship with food, I really held myself back from my cravings and instead of it pushing me forward, I feel like it actually set me back and did the opposite because then I would just binge eat like crazy unhealthy foods. So I think that it is so important to have balance when it comes to those things. So you guys saw I had a really healthy breakfast. I've been drinking a ton of water. So now I'm going to have this for lunch. I mean, Chipotle, in my opinion, I don't even think is that unhealthy. But I can understand why people would think that Shake Shack is. But it's just a treat. It's what I want. So I'm going to listen to my body and eat that. So we'll see if I'm hungry later on. Usually when I get this kind of food, I feel super full. And I'll just probably have like a smoothie or a snack for dinner. But we'll see today. If I'm still hungry, then I'll probably make a meal and show you guys. I feel like this what I eat in a day was kind of a fail, and now it's kind of turning into more of a vlog style video, but that's okay because I really like making these anyway. And I'll definitely, in my next one, make more meals throughout the day. But I'll show you guys my order once we get there, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, we're at Shake Shack. I'm literally trying to do this so fast because there's people in the car right next to me. But we got Shake Shack. We're splitting one burger and we're also going to Chipotle because we just couldn't decide. So we just got a regular burger and then I'll tell you guys my Chipotle order when we get that. So we made it to Chipotle. My boyfriend just went inside to pick it up, but I just want to tell you guys my order. So I got brown rice, carne asada. Usually I get chicken, but since it's back for a limited time, I had to get it because it's so good. And then I get black beans, light guac, light sour cream, cheese lettuce tomatoes anything that's pretty much it it is so good definitely my go-to order i love their brown rice it's really good so i'm gonna eat that for lunch it's already late it's around like 3 30 so i don't know if i'm gonna eat dinner but i'm gonna eat that i'll show you guys and then i'll see you when i get home so i'm back home now as you guys can tell on the way back we stopped at starbucks i got a tall strawberry sai with a lemonade this is my favorite drink that isn't coffee i just kind of forgot how sweet it was because i haven't gotten this in so long so i let the ice melt a little bit so it was toned on the sweetness but i actually didn't end up eating as much as i thought i was gonna eat i only had like half of my chipotle bowl and then like a bite of the shake shack burger i was like craving it and then when i got it i just really wasn't feeling it as much anymore i don't know sometimes my body does that it's so weird but I have a feeling I'm probably gonna be hungry later, so I'll probably make a snack or something, but definitely not hungry enough for a full meal. So I'll whip something up. Again, I kind of feel like this video was a low-key a fail because I didn't intend on going out today. That was just like a random thing we decided to do. But for my next YE in a day, I wanna make it fall edition. So I'm gonna make all fall foods for literally all three meals. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe because that's gonna be a really fun video. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I'm probably gonna film it like on Friday or something and probably get it up next week but I'm just gonna finish whatever I have left of this drink. There's literally like nothing left, but I'm gonna finish this. And then when I get hungry later, I'll pick up the camera and I'll see you guys then. So I lied, it's 8.10, I'm in the kitchen because I am starving, like not even just for a snack, but for a full meal. I was fine for a couple hours and it just hit me out of nowhere. Like I'm so hungry. I usually don't like to eat after 7.30 because then I feel super bloated in the morning, but if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. Like the worst feeling is going to sleep hungry or telling yourself that you shouldn't eat just because it's late so i'm gonna figure out what to eat i literally have no idea what i'm gonna eat but i'll show you guys once i figure it out so this is what i decided on i don't know if you guys have ever seen these at trader joe's but you need to try them they are so good for making mini pizzas they're just these little cauliflower thins four come in each pack and they're actually really good for you and it's a good alternative like if you don't want to eat bread I saw I made mini pizzas with those cauliflower thins they are so good as an alternative to bread if you're not feeling carbs and they actually taste good considering they're cauliflower so I usually put pesto but we didn't have any so I just put a little bit of marinara sauce and parmesan cheese and then I put some parsley on top so I'm gonna eat this and probably call it a night so we're ending off the night with some warm apple cider I love having this in the fall it's literally one of my favorite drinks and this is the first time I'm trying the Trader Joe's one and it's actually really good so I'm just gonna have this and then I'm gonna end off a vlog I just 
just heated up my apple cider. I'm gonna end off the video right here because I'm not eating anything else for this tonight. I think it's like 9.30. I can't see the clock from here, but it's super late, so I'm not going to eat anymore. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this what I ate in a day. I know I didn't stay home for all three meals, but I still hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.